practice in the one rain stops, but he's actually stopping without it. That's really good. Good boy, buddy. So every time he does it right, just make a little fuss so he knows. Good job. I should have done a, a one ring. That, yeah, but you didn't. But that's okay. But now let him go again. So if he gets tempted, you just do the stop. So if he walked off on his own, then you do the one rain stop. But it's okay for him to make mistakes because, again, his whole life he's gotten something different. But... Um, when he makes the mistake, we just got to correct it correctly. And then just anytime you stop, stop longer. Because to the horse, there's no point in stopping if you're going to walk off within seconds. Then they just go, why stop? I'll just keep going. Lower your hand. Yep, look up. Good. And then you forgot to let go of him. Yep. Do it again. Yep. No. Nope. So you, you went back to two hands. See how you did that? Yep. Let him be tempted. Still hold your reins, because you're either one or the other. You either let go or you hold too much. <laughs> okay, now he could walk off again. Because now he's thinking of eating the grass. Oh yeah, he likes that. Yep, so make him walk off. Yep. But think about what the exercise you're doing. So you're trying to stay with just one hand and not two for now, okay? So it, when, anytime he walks off, use one hand and pull it. That's it. And then don't stare at his head. Keep pulling until he stops. It's okay that he made the mistake. Yep. Are you looking at him? Yeah. Okay. So, and then did you let go of him once he did the right thing? Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm just checking because I can't see that hand. So another one rein stop. See how you, you shortened up both reins right there. Yep. Keep pull harder and get it off your leg. Pull one rein hard. Let the other rein go. Let it go. Let it go. Yep. Keep pulling. Keep pulling until he figures it out. Yep. Look up and lean back. Him, you could say whoa, yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Are you staring at him? Yeah. Yeah. Stop staring. Nervous. <laughs> he's, he's watching yeah. Which is okay. Totally fine. Like we would look at it too, but people get panicky. Yep. So just wait till you're past the gate, and then try another one rain stop. But think about it before you do it. Whoa. Look up. Lean back. Keep pulling. You're pulling on both hands. I can see the other hand. Yep. Keep pulling till he figures it out. Look up, lean back, pull harder if he's not getting it. Yep, then let him go. Yep, so then you can, you know, use your other hand. So always have one hand on the rein. Whichever hand it is, it, it should be on the buckle when you practice this exercise. Yep, so give him a minute and then walk off. Now, if you didn't do that. I did, that was me. Okay. That was me because I kind of gave okay. him a walk. Yep. So now you just taught him to pull the reins out of your hands because you were just holding with both hands right. and then he pulled and you let go. So remember everything we do wrong, we're teaching them and it's not their fault because he doesn't know. Well, oh, so go ahead and walk off. Walk. Ready with your left hand if he does try to leave. Good job. <laughs> yep, he's coming back in the middle. Good, so remember which hand you have to pull with so you're set up for it. Yank, that's it, good job. Really good. Now if he speeds up, then you do a one rein stop. Oh. Yep, lift your hand up, lean back, and then just let him see. He sit. acts like if he runs, you won't catch him. <laughs> yeah, so just lower your hand. Now let him stop. If he just stops and looks, that's actually a good thing. Tell him he's a good boy. Good job, buddy. So you just try to make anywhere but the gate be a happy place for him. Yeah, and then when you're ready, then you can ask him to go again. Yep, and then just keep thinking which hand you'd have to yank, just in case. See, but that's awesome. Because in the beginning, he would have just ran out of there and ran all the way back to his stall. Yeah, no, you're doing good. So now we're practicing walking around the barn. She's doing great. So I would walk around again 
and then when you get up there this time like unhook unhook your vest <laughs> but then get off them and let them graze up there okay. and then we'll be done yep. right where he used to run back to his stall really he's doing so much better So now she got off up there, you can hardly see her, um, so she's far away from his friends and she got off up there and she's grazing to make being away a good thing. So overall they have done really well for just a month and a couple weeks of training.